What is going on, you sexy mofos? We're back in the office, and this is not going to last a long time because we are getting the fuck out of here, as you can tell by everything on the background and all the disaster. That's just not the way I live, which is kind of the way I live, but not really completely the way I live. Today, we have a lot of shit to do. We just came back from Texas. We had a great time with Rodrigo celebrating his birthday. We got to do a lot of Texan things, and we're back to LA into moving cars, driving them around, talking about him, going to great restaurants, and just focus on the food, mostly. <laughs> so we're back for that. What do you think, Pedro? I think it's time to go eat. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go eat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wanted to start the vlog, but I want to do it outside with Fargini because our backpacks are finally done. You see the ones you see back there? But, 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 those are not the ones that are coming out. We got the real versions here. So uh, let's do the handout outside. I wanted to talk to everyone about Fargini. You just went to a meeting and... We just met with Brendan, our partner with the Backpacks. Yeah. He just got back from the factory supervising production and he brought some final production. These are final. Samples. So we're finally done, Fargini. How long ago did you start this? Because Farshad started and then I came in later. Over a year ago. I know. Over and, a year ago. And right? all of these started, Fargini, Milan and I. Milan, if you guys remember, is the guy that we're asking to buy the 911, the white one. Look, it's still like the end, the noises are there. Like, come on, it's oh, still. It's very easy to drive. Someone's gotta scoop this up. No, 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 fuck that. Milan's gotta scoop Milan's it up. Milan's gotta scoop it up, yeah. Or I'm gonna hate him forever. We, we basically don't. told him and forced him to buy it. <laughs> yeah. That That's Milan. So the three of us used to go to these entrepreneur lunches. We would get together and just run through ideas. And basically all of that resulted in many, many things like what we're doing right here. Yep. Another one of those is one of these. These make me just so happy to look at them, feel them. Just the final product is awesome. And we're so close to lunch. We're gonna get the first badge of bags I, I don't want to pre-sell them yeah. on the website because I want to make sure that all of them are there Branded. so we don't yeah exactly so guys if you're starting with a new product that you're about to sell don't pre-sell without knowing that you have it and that everything went well for the first round after that you can figure out your pre-sales and you yeah. can figure out everything else I know it's good for cash flow, but we're not into that what we want to do today though is uh, give one of these to a lucky lucky subscriber anyone that has a little brother little sister please a kid you're an aunt whatever you are all you need to do to win one of these backpacks is like this video be subscribed to the channel and comment on the comment section down below what character would you like to have so we got bunny owl and we all know owl likes to have a good time because the owl's lit. lit teddy bear and monkey and space monkey whichever one you want please comment in the video down below and uh good luck to you guys you will now, be the first civilian to, to rock one, one of these, these. Wait, are we hugging or are you being We're weird? hugging. Okay, this is really weird. This is what's at stake, people. So what's the plan? What are we doing? Let's just move all the cars for seven minutes. Then let's go uh, to your favorite restaurant. And then what else can we do? You posted with your ghost in the new garage. Someone posted. So does that mean the content's going to be five minutes shorter every day now? Yeah. <laughs> there's no more. There's that, no that's more, the whole uh... point. Problem is the videos will be 100% probably between one and two minutes long. Total, because we're eliminating the food. We're eliminating the good times. It's all cars. Let's talk about cars. No, nah, let's not. Let's just go somewhere else. The first test today, we got Fargini's brand new car which is not brand new but it's old and uh, we're gonna go blow it up but before we blow it up how about we drive it we feel it out real quick and then go drop it off at our secret storage facility. Yeah, I want you guys to experience it too. I, I want, want to experience yeah. it because to me that was one of the cars that really got me into the Mercedes dream that is the car that was like in that mid-range that was yep. boss as fuck when this came out yeah. oh I and love it the headlights remember there, there wasn't many cars and this was the first time Mercedes did With like the a circle headlights that's iconic that's you know iconic. what you know what let's yeah. get in the fucking car let's go Let's do this. What? I hate this. Thing. Why? It's a big hang on, giant before, before. piece of shit. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 hang on, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hey, 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 hey. Oh, whoa. We just got <laughs> in here. Let me, let me see if it starts. Stuck on the side of the street somewhere. No, 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 we're not. It's a Mercedes. Every oh yeah, it's got all the Christmas you tree name, on. You name yeah, the, you don't worry about it. The problem. It's got it. Hang on, Wh which one's drive? There's like 17 <laughs> drives. Just a little tilted. Farsha, turn which it way? to uh, this way. A little bit. Yeah. You That's want me to help you? Is that good? This is good. It's Perfect again. Oh, uh, all right. Why don't you just tell me to go fuck myself while you're out? Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> all right, there you go. Should I leave? Should I leave? I think we both should. Let's <laughs> leave Grumpy Pedro in the back. I mean, we get it. Dallas lost <laughs> to the Packers. It's your car. If the Packers win the Super Bowl, am I going to get a check from the Packer organization saying yeah. thank you for what you did and all of your honors and Aaron Rodgers is going to make a surprise visit to my house and all that? I'm so that, pissed off about it. I'm so pissed off <laughs> I've supported th this rap. <laughs> if Green Bay wins, 
for a fact, I'm repping all of my cars like New York Giants. I knew that. So about the time that you received your 911R is when Green Bay's hot streak began. Oh! Are you really looking that up? Is that for real? Holy shit. There's gotta be a Packers fan out there that's willing to pay like $2 million for this, no? Because Sweet. otherwise, I'll unwrap it for the Super Bowl if they make it to the Super Bowl. No, no, that, no, no. This it's is a fucking promise, guys! It's, it's the car itself. I'm ready to blow it up. No, no, this is the car we're blow, blowing up. No, no not the 911. I'm ready to blow up the 911. You'll leave my fucking 911R alone. Like, Look how sad he is. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about this car immediately. What I really like is just how much it vibrates. Look at the camera, dude. <laughs> You know this car has, I think, almost 200,000 miles on it, I think. It doesn't even think, say yeah, because I, it's got I, so many... I tried to... Uh, I, I, I where's the to, fucking yeah, exactly, menu here? Yeah, exactly. Good luck. Pedro, what's a good place to uh, uh, stop and talk about the car? Should we go to RDV? Yeah. We'll tell Vic that we need this to look like the new AMGs. What's a legendary place? I, I was going to stop at the McDonald's here because it's legendary, but I think all the homeless people might make it hard for us to shoot. <laughs> We'd have a kitchen soup right here <laughs> happening in here. You know what a kitchen soup is, right? Yeah. A bunch of hobos getting in the car and just have sex nonstop. That's... Not the kind of kitchen soup I was thinking. It's a Mexican way of having an orgy. So if I go to Mexico and I go, hey, is anybody one of those soup kitchen? kitchen? A bunch of people are gonna get into my car and we're gonna and have sex. Yes. Pretty good, huh? Sign me up. I love soup. <laughs> this car smells like death. I agree with you on that. We're gonna blow it up. Why are you so salty? <laughs> I, I would like to go blow it up now. But sadly, we were too busy having a good time in Austin to plan blowing this up, huh? How much fun did we have? That was fucking awesome. That was, that was a lot not of fun. From the I minute I woke up. We, <laughs> we were having fun from the minute I woke up. What about the Zinger cream? I think it's it's time for us to like really reveal the Zinger, the Zinger cream? cream. It's a very secret project that Farsha and I are working on. And the Zinger cream guarantees that everyone who puts it on every morning yeah. will get at least 50% more Zingers added to their comedy. And if you don't know what Zingers are, just watch a couple of the episodes as we... Uh... What? What was that? That guy was driving his Ferrari without a shirt on, and he was one of those guys that has hair growing gorilla, like, gorilla, up and down yeah. his shoulders. He was sexy. I think he was Italian. He was sexy. Hey, he was Italian. Italian. He must have been Italian. He must have been an Italian okay. guy named Fabrizio. So, so let me get this right. People can buy our Zinger cream. They well, not yet. It. Well, when, it's, when it's, it's, when it's being tested okay, right. by me every day. <laughs> we, we, we tested, uh, all, all of us tested it in, in, Austin. in Austin, right? It was doing pretty well. Even, even, even Rodrigo! Rodrigo. Yeah. <laughs> you apply some on your body. It doesn't matter where, right? No, no, it doesn't matter where. Okay. Because it's absorbed by the by your leathery skin. Skin, okay. Uh, my zinger started coming in 15 minutes after I applied. 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, also, we have immigrant right oily bodies, so it may, may be longer. Like, it spits another... it out like <laughs> yeah. harder. If you're okay. just a white guy, probably in five minutes, like, we'll, we'll <laughs> Give uh, uh, you know what we forget to give Pedro some before we left. <laughs> <laughs>All right, we're here. We just stopped in a random street to look at the car. This is an E320 from 1998, you're saying? 1999? You see that? Six it's cylinder. It's a straight six. It's a straight six cylinder car. This oh, used to be the fucking, this used to be the most boss fucking car. That's why when you were like, oh, let's buy this, it's, so, it's such a good idea. It brought so much nostalgia to my heart. On to the buying part. Fargini said that this was, in, what, what did he say, Pedro? He said this is pristine condition. Perfect, like, oh, it looks like no one's ever touched the car. No, oh, the <laughs> owner. Now, let's go over the problems that Fargini didn't see before. Can I just point one thing Do you out? want to it point was, them it out? Was, it was at night. It was, I literally bought this car at night. I love this car. Uh-huh. So first of all, it's a, like a 98 E320. Hang on a second. Yeah. Guys, this is a fucking Mercedes. And of course we had to send Farsha to inspect the Mercedes. <laughs> he came back and he's like, I love this car. He's okay. looking at it go in ahead. the dark too. Yeah. So even with that said, because you okay. should have known that. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, this, I did not see any of this. But nothing a little polish can't get out, no? It also goes to the trunk. No, I did not see right? any of this. I didn't see Look at this. Oh, it's on the hood. It's everywhere, dude. This car's it's been clear, sitting it's out. A clear coat. It's a clear this coat. car's been sitting out for like 80 years. <laughs> One headlight Plenty. went out as we were leaving or close to when we It's got the water inside, do you see? Yeah, we got water inside there. This motherfucker like like spray painted yeah, spray it. Painted this is not, spray painted this is, it, Farsha. Vic can fix this in two seconds. Far, this is why you can't trust this guy picking up the cars. Are you opening the yeah, engine? Like oh it. my god. There's gonna be a dead squirrel in there. So it is the V6. Oh and uh there's somebody's head right there. <laughs> Wait, what? Where? Oh the head there. Hey, uh, don't hold it, don't hold it for a second. Oh that's Shoot. disgusting. The shocks are gone, right? Not only are they gone, they're like What makes you think the shocks are gone? Hang on a second. Oh okay, I'll show you. Watch out. Don't don't I told you not to do that. I told you not to do that. Why do you... Yes. 
look at that. Show me another car that does this. Goes in a 90 degree angle so you can work on the car. Beep, boop, boop. Hey, you gotta give it to Farsha. That is something Mercedes, cool that I Mercedes never knew. Mercedes even thinks about the people working on the car. They don't have to work on them a lot, but when they do. Your fanboyism of Mercedes is getting okay. through the fucking right, roof. This, this, looks, this looks great, doesn't it? It's a, it, it? The engine actually looks way better than what I expected it was gonna look like. It runs fantastic for $1,000. Down here. Oh, why is that broken? Yeah. How about we do something fucking crazy to this? Should we okay. shoot it? Ah, oh, but where? We'll shoot it when we blow it up. Yeah, yeah. What else? can we do in this video that will be crazy? You could take an axe to it. Do you want to go to the trunk? Oh, you're gonna put me in this trunk? No. You do, I would no, I would, I would not put you in this trunk. That's pretty, that's, yeah, I know. Oh. I told you, somebody died in this. Yeah, no, for sure they used it. Look, I mean, at least the trunk's pretty big for someone to be able to right, fucking Whoever got totally all the die. blood out, it's just did a hell of a job. Amazing job. See, we're, we're selling this tire before we blow it up. I really do wish you guys could understand how bad this smelled. I can't even smell anything. That smells horrible. What about the interior? What was your favorite part about the interior? It's actually kind of comfy in the back seat. It is pretty good all around. They used to make the cars bigger back in the day. These are like thin because they don't have as many airbags. This is my theory. Yeah. Yeah. The doors are right? really light and feel really that's, cheap. That's why, because they don't have airbags and all the good stuff that they have now. So all of these are gonna drop like real oh, quick. Ready. Hit it, Pedro. Or Fargini. <laughs> Do you want to show them what's in the cup holder? What's in the cup holder? Oh, that's right. Pull that out. Right here? Yeah, pull it out. And then pull out more. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one, though. This is a good one, Fargini. That's a, we're keeping that one. Hey, Fargini, all oh. you. You don't want to keep that. That's sticky and gross. Yeah, you enjoy that, Fargini. You think this is the first thing I own that's sticky and gross? Nope. <laughs> Farsh has got this thing where every time he's done with something, he has to walk towards the street when a car's coming. Let's get out of here. Luckily, let's go. Change of plan. Go to Home Depot, buy an axe, or let's walk into Home Depot and see what we can find that would be epic. That's a great idea. To use against this car. And you know what the best part is? What? We buy it, we come out, we use it, and then I go return it. <laughs> The AC does not work. The BMW's was perfect. I know. Do you agree you could part this car out for more than a thousand dollars? Can you imagine we start making money? We start buying these cars to explode them and we just start making money. And, be, and before you know it, we're gonna be Ron. The guy who sells right, the cars right, right, right. right there. We're, no, we're the Ron version of parts. <laughs> Do you hear that noise? That AC can be trying to work. Yeah. It's probably leaking some deadly gas. Into yeah, the that's. Car. Uh, yeah, we should probably turn it off. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's uh, lower the windows. <laughs> That instrument cluster. Mercedes used that for what, 15 years? This is where Mercedes and BMW separated from everyone else. BMW kept making the same fucking stupid dash since I remember yeah. until today. That's what I fucking hate about BMW. That's I don't have, I love the way they drive. They're just like a different version of the AMGs. I do. There's just something in my brain that just can get past the fact that, hey, we didn't really redevelop anything, right. but we're gonna made it more modern looking. And Mercedes goes every time there's a new car, new it's generation. a blank slate. Right. Can I make an observation? Yes. Usually people are looking at us because we're in a Rolls or some crazy car. I notice people are looking at us for slightly different reasons than most of the time they look at us. Listen, <laughs> it looks like we're about to go uh, uh, rub their house and maybe yeah. commit credit card fraud. I get it. All right, we're here. First of all, no Mexican jokes about the Home Depot guys. <laughs> I've heard them all. Wait, what if someone so what if someone offers to like take you on a day job? Do you know what I mean? Depends like, on how much they pay, I'll do it. <laughs> What are we looking for? All right, we're looking for an axe or anything that's completely yeah, destroyed. Right. Like any tool for destruction, that's what we're gonna get. Are we in our Andro section? It's all... How fucking manly is this? I think that Do you works. Need a lot of style points. I think so. you got some. I think you got some. I think you got enough. Well, let's throw some hard penis points on this one. Is that going to be your go-to? Hey, hang on, this is an electric machete. It's a Fisker. No, no, it's actually a hybrid. Yeah, it requires that, both. That doesn't perform very well, but it's all hybrid. You ready? So all we need is uh, a shovel for you, and you're all set to start your new business. <laughs> I see you, Cheers you're wearing the zinger cream. <laughs> I am. 
I just came up with a really dumb idea. And you tell me what you think, Pargini. We're buying this, some gloves. Why don't we also buy like a shovel, <laughs> some tape and rope, <laughs> rope yeah. and just be like, we're walking out. Like, yeah. You and need also, a tarp too. And we'll, yeah, a tarp yeah. and we'll ask, <sighs> hey, what removes stains real, like real good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we'll say wine stains. Yeah. Red wine, we'll say red wine. Like if you have red wine stains, which one would be moving perfect? Yeah. <laughs> We need a tarp and a stain remover. Tarps are on aisle six. You guys have like a strong stain remover like for red wine? Yeah, we have aisle one. Aisle one. Have you seen that every time we ask a question, they go like this. Yeah, aisle one. <laughs> they look at the card and then they look at you and they say, yeah, it's aisle one. But they're giving us all the tools to commit a murder, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't say anything to anyone. Hey, you don't know nothing about nothing. Have a good one. Thank you. We'll need it. I love that all that she says is, this looks really bad. When I see you in the news. <laughs> oh, oh shit, those are no. All of these, we're gonna lose against them. Alright, so what's the next step? Go kill someone? And guys, I, by the way, I'm sorry I'm so salty today. I think it's a combination of the back-to-back-to-back the -back -to -back -to -back 6 a.m. travel days, the Cowboys losing, so I apologize I'm salty. No, 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 it's fine, dude. Come on, we all have days like that. You just need more zinger cream. This is, <laughs> this is why, Pargini, yeah. this is why it's such a pain in the ass that the product is not yet oh, on the you, market for everyone. Did you There's tell? only a few people that are testing it out. Did you tell? Pedro, the, the distinction that our company already has. Oh, we're in the number one zinger cream in America, and we haven't even come out yet. What you know about that? Ready? Wow, we're we're really <laughs> really going for it. <laughs> if you click this button, the ASR button. Hang on, a massive exclamation mark comes out of nowhere. You ready? Yeah. You don't want to hit that button. <laughs> so I'd say from here, let's go drop off the car. This yeah. one yeah. for storage. Mm -hmm. yeah. After we drop off the car for storage, let's go to Trejo's Tacos because we've been out of town, out of commission for a while. I think that's a good one. Come Trejo's back to LA. Is in order. Trejo's is in order, right? Yep. What are you doing? Backing it up into its place. Oh, what you do best. Oh, my bad. Son. So do you do valet at your own building? Uh, every now and then, it's a it's a tradition in the in the Salomons that uh, has lived on ever since I started it right now. A tradition known as weekends? <laughs> You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> what if someone walked in right now and they actually saw us doing this and they called the cops and the cops find everything that we have in our truck? Oh, that's... Then we would probably tell them, say, look, we are famous YouTubers and... And then they uh, wouldn't... And then immediately our argument is done because you said famous YouTubers. But worst case scenario, Alejandro goes back to Mexico and Pedro and I continue. But is that worst case? <laughs> <laughs> What are, the, what are the parameters? We'll give you the unders. All you get is one shot at this. It's gonna be on the trunk. You can't break the glass. If you break the glass, it's gonna be a lot more problems for us to get this car out. And we wanna see the glass blow up. Whoever loses pays the bill right now. Oh. Is that cool, Pedro? Yeah. <laughs> Pedro? Yeah. Pedro? <laughs> I think it's cool. Great. This, these, these new suction cups are working really well. I, I think the lack of paint and the different materials <laughs> on the roof is what's That's causing right, this. That's yeah. exactly what happened. Should okay. we cause, uh, grab this and... Yeah, let me oh, do that.
Mississippi muscle right Holy there. Holy shit! Ah. Oh my god! You did hey, it. reminder, don't ever let me fire Pedro. <laughs> well, all I need to know is I'm not paying for food, right? No, we both are paying for, for Pedro's meal. No, 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 no. I don't think you understand how these rules work. That's how it worked. That's actually how it was supposed to work for Alejandro's meal that he won in Austin. We all should have been paying for his meal, but instead I paid for it. So there's no way out of this. I gotta pay for your meal. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about this. Try those tacos, um, Hey, and the best I... thing about it is, do you think the trunk will open? Oh, pretty, pretty good. Pedro, it's pretty amazing quality. That, that looked like your first hit. That, yeah, that was. <laughs> Here, give this to me. Give this to me. Put it in. <laughs> Farshad's trying his uh, impression, impression yeah, yeah, yeah. again. He's been working on it. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm Danny Trejo from Trejo's Tacos. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm honestly giving it my best. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's really it. Excuse me, do you Thank know, you so have much, you met brother. Mr. Trejo? Yes, I have. Can I do an impersonation and just be honest? I would love it. From one to ten, though. Okay. Ten would be the best. Like, okay. he killed it. Hey, I'm Danny Trejo. <laughs> what do you give him? What do you give him? I'll give you a 10. Oh, come on! Come on! I love that. I love that. Oh, I've, come I've, on! I've, heard the, I've had conversations with the dude. It's funny. And, right? That was kind of yeah. it, right? Thank Everybody you. says this is son. Thank you. His son just approved, man. I just like, I say, uh, his son just approved. <laughs> what would you guys rate Farshad's impression of Danny Trejo? How about that? I'll let you guys, from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how was his impression? Are we allowed to show a Danny Trejo clip? Should we show it you from one of my movies? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Done. That's excellent. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Wait, what did we just do with the raid? Huh? Oh, we dropped it off for service. Oh. Do you not know that? It needed its one year service. We got the car on December 31st of mm -hmm. last year. And the reason why you get a car on December 31st of any year is because you can get any dealer to do anything for yep. you. Like at the dealer, people will bend over backwards for you and do anything to get those cars out. To get, yeah. Sometimes they'll, they might lose money or not make a lot of money on a car, but it helps them with their allocation for next year. Yeah. Moving those certain that, that to them is the most important one in the high-end market. Yeah. That's why I go buy a, uh, or at least try to get a high-end car like towards the yep. end of the year. Is this that... year I didn't because we ended up getting the house instead. <laughs> and I'm um, fucking, <laughs> Took me to the cleaners, but uh, uh, I'm a huge fan of that tradition that's only happened once. <laughs> <laughs> I think today was successful. What do you think? I think we got enough done. We got back. We got a lot of food in the show, which is yep. what people wanted to see. A lot and of moving cars. A lot of moving cars. I think we're set. With that said, thank you guys for watching.